until after the song's done. I don't know why, but it just... Hi, everybody. <laughs> Are you finished? Yes, I'm finished. All you okay. got to do is put a drink in my hand. <laughs> Good morning, after evening, noon, Miss Grammy. Yeah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, as Truman okay. would say. That was quick. Yeah, so how's y'all doing? We're on the dork table here on reallibertymedia.com, even. Again. Again. Yeah. I know, yeah. it's kind of scary, ain't it? Exit oh, well. stage left, even. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Snagglepuss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. What are we doing today? I don't know. What do you, what are we doing today, Flasher? I don't Grim Grant Grammy has all country on us. Has gone all country on us this morning. I have. Ooh, that's uh, what, I guess it sounded you sounded like you were talking to a rube. Well, all and, you gotta do is put a drink in my hand. <laughs> there you go. Now we just need to adjust your settings so you can get get to dork table settings <laughs> oh to door oh well i am at dork hey, table settings guess there are no rules oh well hang in something's yeah. bound to happen yeah we ain't got no we don't need no stinking rules <laughs> yeah well, did facebook <laughs> ban us yet not yet damn okay i know twitter <laughs> Uh oh shit! You know what? I haven't been to Twitter. No. I have been. <laughs> <laughs> I've no been. Twitting? I've been dilly dallying today. Actually, really? I've I've been listening to videos and and all kind of learning about entomology of words and. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, it's classic. Yeah. You are you are growing in your adventure, grasshopper. <laughs> Well, after you say hi to all the RL and Emmers, I'll tell you all everything I know. Take about 30 seconds. <laughs> well, well, um, well let's see. I don't like to oversell. You know? eh, oh. okay. My time is valuable. I'm Jewish. I got these things going on. You know, yeah, places well, to be, stuff to do. It's current C and all of that other fun stuff, don't you know? Oh, hey, yeah. I need to retweet. Right. I need to retweet Hello. real quick. You just you start really? talking and I'll retweet. I'd be really yeah. tweety. <laughs> so I get to say, yeah, but then we throw it all out of tune and, and I don't usually say good morning to of, all the nice folks in the RL and M. Oh, okay. That's your, that's your responsibility. Oh, yeah, I you have to do lost, everything. Yeah, well, you lost fair and square on the toss. <laughs> I told you, heads I win, tails you lose, and it was tails, so you lost. Ah, oh, sunny beaches in there California. <laughs> it's always something. Did we stall long enough? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I, I was trying to... I was trying to give creative writing a, a crack to entertain oh, Rob shit. Works this morning on the RL and M. And I, I must say I failed miserably. It was terrible. Even when I read it back, he cri critiqued it. And when I read it back, I went, holy shit, it does. It does sound like that. Well, back to the drawing board. I know. It's really wild how sometimes you you know, you do something or you say something and somebody else hears it completely yeah. different from what you intended. Yeah. Got this great idea about how cool it sounds and then when you read it you go, Wow, I didn't write that <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you did. <laughs> we got it on film too. <laughs> oh man. <NSA. laughs> Lies. Yeah, these NSA people are they're taking care of us. I oh, know they're so considerate. I truly do appreciate them doing all that for us. Mm. By gosh and by golly. Yeah, and if well, I had I the money, I wouldn't. Is, hmm? I, th I think the NSA's goal is to make sure that American women wear bras when they're on in front of their computer. Oh, well, good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Took you long enough. Okay. Wow. <coughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Dork. Banana. <laughs> <laughs> Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? 
Aren't, aren't you glad, glad I didn't say, say banana, banana again? again. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. Hello, RLM. Hi, RLM. Hi, Twitterland. Oh, holy crap. I just gained another stalker over on Twitterland, too. Holy smokes. Cool. And uh, I didn't put anything over on Mines. I didn't put anything over on Fakeybook. I'm just a total slacker. But ah. over on... Uh, the app side, I saw that D. Cheatwood was on for a while there, and I see the lovely Estrella wow. has been posting like crazy. And I uh, Cheatwood in a while. Yeah, and K.D. Troxel and Troxel. Java Doctor and Grimmy, Grimmy, the awesome Grim nerd. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. Uh, yeah. Let's see who else is. Where else do I need to go? There we are. I'll Good just enough. I'll just like that real quick while I'm over here on. Effing site. You just take us down this merry internet road, Miss Mary. And take you down the merry internet. Oh my God, that could be totally scary. And you're yeah. playing your harmonica again. Yeah, and I just I listened to that that video about entomology of words and breaking them down, and, and it was like, wow, etymology. Yeah. However you say that. Um, Worlds within. Worlds within worlds, and we're only told about the flashy one that doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got so much control over shit, and you don't even know it. Like the one that's, it's, you know, your dirt it's suit. It's the joint illusion. Yeah, the joint illusion one slows us all down as individuals. Ah, uh, yeah, it does. But <laughs> we aren't Waste really. Of time. We aren't really individuals, are we? Aren't we all part I of a, a greater thing? Hey, we'll have to talk to the space people about that one. Oh, because I was thinking, you know, we're part of this greater Aralumanumanumanum thing. Well, maybe they beam us up and we'll find out. <laughs> mm, uh, That's I don't, they mm. disintegrate you and then, re and then disintegrate. <laughs> okay, so they molecular molecularize you and then demolecularize you, or is that bass backwards? Uh. I, I think that's bass backwards. Oh, well. In any case, over here in the RLM, which is where you need RLM. to be. Hi there, Facebook. Hi there, Minds. Hi there, F on site. Hi there, Twitter. F but get your Twitter. butts over here to the RLM. Make up a nickname and join the chat and give us a bunch of static. Oh, and anybody listening over on Spreaker, come on over. Come on down. You're the next contestant on Dorks R Us. But... You have if you are from the. Uh, oh the God! Kirk Stop Kirk that freaking creepy ass voice! Jeez! If you, if you get me hush! 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 <laughs> oh, hey! I see something over here on mine's real fast. The Rebel Media is that who you were talking about the other day? No, the Rebels are at the round table. Oh, Rebels at the round table. Okay, never yeah, mind. Yeah, they got a show. They're they're like up to twenty two shows. Oh, okay. I just saw it. Um, I fought. I follow um, your show on, on Thursday with their show now as a ritual. Oh, hey, there you go. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so over here in the RLM, which is where you need to be if you want to give us there's static. More um, static? Don't cool. have nodes listed on the pool site. Okay. No nodes. No nodes. We want no nodes. No nodes. Okay. Hi, barman. <laughs> the hell are nodes i have no idea are they limp oh. nodes or are they limp oh, nodes or are they Get nodules or hello, hello, hello. Uh, i don't know hi grim nerd hello grim nerd. nerd i also see the lovely kate is here no moosey must be sleeping in or she's uh, got a life um hey. <laughs> hi asmo and asmo and chalcedony and cycle. We had a circle and a cycle last night. Hello. It was wild. That was me. Uh, oh, that was you? Oh, okay. A circle cycle. Type like a chimpanzee with car keys at two in the morning. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> I thought that was common knowledge by now, but mm. apparently people uh, were surprised. <laughs> ah. No, it doesn't shock My me. My computer skills are superior to yours, puny human. Says the monkey, correct? Correct. Uh, yeah. I, Hi, Chloe. Chloe, singular. <laughs> yeah, only one. Free Enslaved <laughs> is here as well. And looky there, I be Don C. And the Woik. I be Don C. And it worked. <coughs> That's yes. A, hey, we got a double dipper. Ha. 
I know, double we dipper going on there. Double dip. And see, there's yeah. always somebody that's got our back. And we've got Java, 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 Java Doctor, and the new and improved version. Got both of them here. Holy smokes! There you go. There we you also have, have Hansel. Hi, J Dread. How are you doing today? And JJ's. JJ's. Juan Ataka was also here. Hmm. Hmm. Now I'm going to have to consider that. Uh, I also see the lovely rain is in the house. We were supposed to get some of that, but we didn't. Now we just got wind. I also see RLM Fluky, and I'm going to move right along to Rob Works. Rob, did you do the bubbler? Because I don't want to hear that nasty-ass voice. <laughs> wow. Okay. I know. See how I am. Uh, yes, yes. Trust no one or trust number trust one. No one. Yeah, number one. <laughs> Big Red is here. Hi, Big Red. Is that the Communist. Russian contingent? We got a communist in the room. Commie. No, them commies are Lock communist pinko low. spies. They're pinko spies, not red. Oh, okay. Never yeah. mind. False yeah. alert. Yeah. Go back as you were. Dakota. Dakota. And Dima. And Dork Cakes. Hey, mental. Cakes. I also oh, see cake. Flash Nasty is in the chat. <laughs> Gee, I wonder who that is. And, and Flumpy. Flumpy, Flumpy. Hey, Frumpy, cool. Yeah, and I'm here. And Miss Mary, he's a Canadian. Yes, he is a Kanaki stand. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. And uh, Kozu is here. Kozu. Yeah, and moi, 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 that one that you don't want to do. Uh-oh. Rob Works is cursing at the Internet. Damn it. Nensun Dubois is here. Hi, Nensun. Well, he's logged in at least. And Poxified and Poxy Home. Poxy Home. Yeah. And Papa Pond Sauce, too. And to round out the crew, Phantom. It's the Phantom. And Rob fired up the bubbler. Thank you, Rob. Yes. Thank you, Rob. Collected at the dork table. There's just so little to go around. I know. We must have our bubbler. Boo hoo. Well, that's my story. I'm going to just be smoking it and lie about it now. Oh, there Tell you, you go. I don't have any. And hoard it all to myself like a Republican. Ah, ooh. Yeah. Hey, over on Twitter, the CIA has officially released evidence of Russian hacking the U.S. election. And it's got one of those. Um, <laughs> One of those little th that you plug in your your uh, cords for, like on the back of your TV or on your computer or whatever, where you have the input yeah. and the output. But they switched yeah. around and had put in, and that's the evidence that the CIA's got. Because <laughs> it's badass. Let uh, me tell this you, this is so ridiculous. Anyway, it is. It is. I mean, I mean, even even if. The possibility does exist there are enough wackadoodles in America to actually vote for Donald Trump and support his presidency. I find that as laughable but possible. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Ooh. The rest of the world, hmm, some of them are starting to giggle. <laughs> yes, and they are. And then there's another group that's starting to sweat because fucking uh, the Russians want to play with Syria with America. And it's not going to end well, and nobody's being nice. They're all being fucking stupid about it. Yeah. They're waving their cocks in each other's face, and the women are going, are you going to really stand there and let him do that? Come on, fucker. And push is going to come to shove. Mm. I, I hate think when they Putin do that. Does the, yeah, I think he has a girlfriend or a wife or something like that. I think he, he, does I think he has female. both. <laughs> And we all know the cha-cha runs the world from behind the scenes, so let's get real here. Yeah. When his old lady says, hey, don't let that Trump do that to you in front of everybody, the game is on. They're just building up for the big act that's coming. Ah. Oh. See, and I still think well, they're not going to mess stuff up too bad because they want to keep the infrastructure intact. Unless oh, they, yeah, but see, unless the where things, they're going, they don't need no roads. The th yeah, the things that they've been destroying are the histor historical proof that these civilizations existed. Oh uh, yeah, there there is so, that douchebags. 
in in 50 or 100 years, Syria, what? What is that? Some new drink? Nobody will even know what Syria meant. But It'll on the plus side, the fucking, on, uh, on the plus side, Congress just may finally be ready to legalize hemp. Dun, 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 dun. They're going to make it legal. Right. So that. Um, so they can tax so it. So Monsanto can fuck it up and make it imperfect. Oh, well. Make it unusable. If they leave things the fuck alone and quit making us do everything so big on big scale, do it on small scale and you get a better result. Mm. That's my theory. Okay, I can't Well, do that. I would say this. If, if the part of the country that me and Cirque live in was cut off from the city, that this area would still survive, no matter if they're cut off from the city or not. Yeah. And there's places all over the world that survive like that because they were there before the big city took over. But that concept and that population is not very big. No. We are a very small group of weirdos, eh, Guinevere? Yes, we are. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and we are, boo-boo. I... <laughs> <laughs> but you know, he, Mr. Ranger isn't going to like this. <laughs> hey, fuck the Ranger, boo-boo. I want a picnic basket. Anyway. Oh, good That Lord. wasn't a good yogi. I See, I wasn't expecting to, to do... I was teasing Cirque about that earlier, too. But I wasn't planning to do it. You did it. Oh, and yeah. I was competing with you for the voice contest of the Dork Table program. Yeah. Because yep. you'll have the many voices, too, little busy. Yes. Uh, I've heard some of your voices. Oh, good God. <laughs> wow. But the ultimate would be the uh, munchkin voice in the Eeyore suit on a national holiday. Yeah. 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 So if we ever have a show that falls on a national holiday, that's gonna, which will never happen because it's always Saturday. But that's our goal. There you go. Okay. Munchkin voice, Eeyore suit, national holiday, dork table. Be there. <laughs> ah, be there or Sorry. be square. Yeah. Anyway, I know we've been screwing around, but do you know how important a copper uh, a copper cup is, Miss Oils? A copper cup? Yes, I do, because you need that copper in your system. Copper is more important than iron or calcium, actually. Well, you're the oil medical guy. I just expose liars and the lies that they tell. Yep. I don't have to understand them to know what, that they're lying. It's, it's a gift. And in order for you to properly absorb and use, use copper and iron and calcium correctly mm -hmm. in your body, you need to get magnesium in your system because magnesium is kind of like the traffic cop. Uh, ew, or the lifeguard yeah or like the lifeguard in the swimming pool because it'll tell you okay everybody out of the pool copper coming through so yeah but i was just curious about what you knew about the copper cup and that and then you're getting more into the details of other things that i wasn't prepared for yeah well and actually when i got a new uh pressure tank down mm -hmm. in the basement for my water that comes in i had him do copper piping Copper lines, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, mm -hmm. I remember the old... Wow, well, there's certain... Yeah, they did go to PVC quite a bit of that shit. Even the big stuff. I was yeah. Just, they were installing something downtown in the downtown Freddy Town zone. Ah. And, yeah, big four foot wide. I don't know, I guess across. I don't know how to measure the damn pipes, but they're big. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they're... Tearing up the whole road and replacing what whatever was there. And this stuff is petroleum-based crap that I despise. Yes. Yes. So, you know, I don't give a fuck if Congress fun finally... I want them to apologize for lying and fix it. <laughs> fuck you and your pretend bullshit. Let's get real here. All these lies have created enough mess. Let's clean it up. It could be done quickly. Oh, uh, well, you know... If you, a lot of people would die in the process of the changeover because they wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> um, See, a lot of honest people, Mary, you might not be un clear on this particular point. They're not nonviolent men. Some oh, very I know. violent men have very stand-up values. 
And then you have some of your armchair quarterbacks that talk a bunch of shit but never do anything. Yes. Yeah, well, there's a world within a world within a world within a world and on and on and on. You're you're good uh, at exposing that. Ah, ah. Hey, did you know that we have three ops? Oh, now we have 34. We, at, just before Rob Works came back in again, because he's been apparently dropping in and out. Hmm. Uh, yeah, he was complaining about his internet service yeah. today, earlier. Yeah. Well, oh, and we're back to, he got disconnected again, and now he's okay. back. But we now had three just, ops yeah, yeah. and 33 total, so we had 333 going on. Is that good? Well, that's that's a holy number. That's the number of uh, God. Yeah, for, for your religion. What is that yeah. called? Maryism? Yeah. Yeah, where I just take whatever and throw it out oh, there. Wait a minute. Catholics <laughs> already nailed that Mary name. You have to change your name to something else. So I changed it to Grammy. Grammy? Yeah. The, the Grammy cult? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because that way people will think they're worshiping those stupid idol thingies that they give them at music awards when really it's not. It's one of those subversive kind of things. I forgot about the Grammy Awards. You know what? What? Fuck that. Fuck all that shit. It's mm. terrible. Well, yeah, wherever you got that many people assembled at one time to pass on a message, the message is shit. Don't don't listen to it. Oh, the message they're doing is just a great big circle jerk. Anyway, they're patting each other on the back going, damn, we're good. Damn, we're good. But we're yeah, going to say thank you to all you little people for listening to us and spending your money. We're casting a spell on your ass. Uh, but it's a fine line because some folk would argue art is a necessity in society. Well, yes, it is. But what okay, they're well, doing now, good God, especially called, a lot of it now is... I don't call They're it art. They're calling things art that the majority doesn't see as art, but it does have a following. Well, yeah, because those people because... just flat ass don't understand that somebody putting a crucifix in a jar and then <laughs> pissing in it ain't art. <laughs> Sorry, but that's wait, wait, just... wait, wait. Yeah, it is to that person that thinks it is, Mary. Oh, that's they the were. The whole point of of belief is whatever you believe is what you believe. I don't control that. You do. Mm. Yeah, well, I can believe any wacky fucking thing that you want to. That's and true. And when you tell other people the wacky things that don't persuade you one way or the other, they accuse you of it anyway, proving they're not listening. Well, yeah. <laughs> See, and do you, do you and, know I've been called I've been called a flat earther because I don't know if the planet's round or not. I have no proof to prove that to me. You can't prove the the round earth thing to me at all. People have been trying for many years, doesn't work. But on the other hand, you really can't prove the flat earth thing to me either. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that's, mm, I, I don't know. So not choosing a side, people choose a side for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell, I've been called a flat earth or two, and I've been told, you just don't understand science. And I said, no, I don't understand scientism. <laughs> I don't understand science. Well, Right, and the, the gullibility of the herd. If a big enough majority agrees with a verbal statement, then it's true. Yeah. Fuck you, man. Get out there in life. Go look. The sky, I've seen yellow, purple, and blue, and red electric storms in Florida. Anything's possible in this life. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's some wild-ass shit that's going on that n I would just like to have them say, I don't know. But yeah. instead, okay. you know, they've always got to tell you, no, it's like this because we have a theory. <laughs> okay, sweetheart, obviously you don't understand the meaning of the word theory. <laughs> no, they, they, what they do, the institutions in the society, is they redefine a word and wait 20 years. Well, yeah. And it's... there you go. Well, for the last generation grows up with it. Whether it's true or not doesn't matter. It matters that they grew up with it. <laughs> yep. That's what they do to us as a whole. And every generation, they just pick a different thing to control, put their attention on. And the rest of the stuff that looks like chaos, it's all part of a plan. Yeah, it's one of those, I put a spell on you. <laughs> well, it's the, it's the beautiful thing that separates people like me and you 
from the sheeples. And nothing wrong with being a sheeple if you are one, but don't say you're not one if you are one. That's that's the defining point to me. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't fucking claim to be free or smart or better than any fucking buddy. But I'll call you an idiot if you're talking stupid, in my opinion. Yeah. And I was amazed. I got two disciples out of that move. You did? Wow. Yeah. wow. You know what I learned on the internet? You know, you do look like Jesus. He oh, looks like you, Jesus. You know, what, you know what I learned on the internet, Miss Mary? What did you learn on the internet? That when you piss people off, that it's a good thing. It is. And, it's... and the more people you piss off, the more fucking truth you're talking when people ain't pissed off at you, like mad and angry and calling you names and shit, mm -hmm. you're doing it wrong. So, hey. Damn. Grim nerds not doing it right. Na 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 boo boo. Everybody kisses grim nerds at the butt. <laughs> uh, I don't. <laughs> oh, you're his number one fan. You love grim nerd, yo bat. Come on. Well, yeah, you I do love it. Grimmy. But see, uh, that's what I mean. You really do, though. Some people just pretend to. Ah. And it, it comes through in their writing styles. Ah. You know what I mean? Hmm. I don't know. I went on off on a rant about something unimportant because I was loading my pipe. Ah. Oh, but okay. So you I can rant like and it. load your pipe all at the same time? Damn. Yeah. I, I, got a, I got a story for you. Oh, yeah? It's about a rich guy. Oh. Now, this is, we'll call him Steve. Oh, anyway, not Jed? Steve. No, no. Steve. Oh, okay. Okay, you want to call him Jed? Steve. 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 Want some pizza, yeah. Steve? <laughs> so, Steve Jed, he grows up just an average Joe and <laughs> lives a normal life, and he's about 30. Some One of his relatives dies and leaves him a shitload of money. And he wakes up, and he's got all this money. He can do anything he fucking wants. Mm. So he does. And for 10 solid years, he wakes up in the morning and he goes here and he does that. And he's got beautiful women and all this crap, blah, 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 blah. And he wakes up, he's 40 years old and he finds out he's bored. He's done everything he's ever thought of doing. <coughs> he's been everywhere he wanted to go. There's nothing left to buy. So, and he looks over at the coffee table and he sees this ad on the back of the magazine. It says, I know the answer to life. Well, yeah, and it's got a, a mountaintop somewhere in Tibet, and you got to go there to the mountaintop. But when you get to the mountain, there's only one way to do that, and that's you got to climb up the mountain. Uh huh. So he spends all this money, and he gets all this help, and he goes off on his journey. And after so many days of climbing that mountain, he makes it to the top, and he yells out to the old man, Old man, I've come to see find out the answer to life. And he says, My son. The answer to life is to be assertive. Now, why don't you turn around and get the fuck off my mountain? <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Good you job. Like that one? Yes, it I wasn't do. a a ha ha. It was more of a uh, play on words. Mm, yeah. Well, because assertive can be taken more than one way. Depends on the listener. Mm, yeah, Do you true. Know that some people are insulted by the same words that impress somebody else. Yeah, I noticed that. There are some people, there are just some weird people out there in this world. You know what matters? Um, if it don't matter, I don't care, so. The order the words are in make a difference, I think. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yep. I'm guessing. I'm, because, uh. When I sit here, I've got very bad eyesight. Mm -hmm. So I got, I, I've got four eyes on my face. And every now and again, I'll sit back and just um, not concentrate mentally on what I'm looking at. And the, uh, the screen just kind of wiggles around briefly in my mind, in my mind's eye, what I'm seeing. Uh -huh. And I wonder what, what kind of pattern am I picking up when I look at the screen that where I'm reading all this uh, text and such, right? Mm -hmm. And I recognize that. 
but and I'm familiar with it. But what is there there that I'm seeing time after time after time that I don't know I'm looking at? <laughs> oh, the subliminal stuff. Yeah, the programming behind what we've been taught. There's other shit we're not taught. Ah, ooh, see, and that makes me wonder, yeah, with my computer screen, what kind of little bit nonsense are they doing behind the screen? Well, what comes to mind is they can use a camera that can film twice as fast as the human eye can see, I think, is it 240 to 120 or something? They can take 240 shots a second, and your eye can only visually handle 120. Hmm... It's that that method of math, okay? That kind of t- probably Grim would know better than me on this one, but uh, so they can actually play it faster than it's medically understood that you can see it. Instead oh. of playing at the proper speed that you can handle, they go beyond it. Why? Uh, if they're not putting subliminal shit there, why are, why are they running it so? There's no point to do that if they're not doesn't accomplish anything but the opposite. Hmm. Well, it's like I'm going to put a Band-Aid on your knee because you're going to fall and scrape it. Oh, oh, so it's a, okay. You okay. know, well, wait a minute. No. <laughs> that kind, That's the way that, that topic hits me. But you maybe know? they're borging us and we just don't know it. Oh, uh, we'd know it. Me and you would know it. Well, yeah, I would think something is really odd. Because, but... oh, I give you plenty of shit about the driver's license, but um, knowing it and is that's 99% of it, if you think about it. Yeah. Because you get that freedom from being controlled to that degree. At least I know these people aren't doing me any fucking favor. Yeah. 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 Or what about the, the lesson that, it seems like the public's not understanding what the police are there for. Oh, no, they don't. No. Well, they understand the story that they've been told, but they don't get the actual. And that's that's the way a lot of stuff is anymore. Cripes, I was watching a video earlier, and actually I went through about three or four of them, that um, everything is in reverse and all this other fun stuff. And I'm thinking, oh, this will be cool to, to watch this and see how they do that. And it it didn't didn't did not did not compute. You know, there was only one of them that really kind of sort of, and it was and it was biblical stuff. And I'm like, oh, I'm just not in the mood for that today. I just I can't go there today. Right. Well, there's different ways to look at that book too. Yeah. You know it. It depends on the instruction that you allow people to give you to look at it with. And I think that's why my brother David is is learning um, Hmm. not Hebrew, Aramaic. Because he wants to be able to read it in the original. Oh, yeah, but you're still going to understand it with a 21st century mind, so good luck. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't see the attraction of that, but I'm a funny guy. Ha 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 ha. Well, I think it's, I think it's interesting, but. Mm. Well, I don't want to insult people because they're pursuing things. It just doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's no nice way to say that. And just, well, you can take it as I'm too dumb to get it if you like, but I just see it as a extravagance, pointless, go nowhere. The answers don't fucking matter. It's the questions that matter. True. Fill in the fucking blanks. You always get a fucking answer. So that's not the point. The point is to ask the right question. And yes. That, that would probably make people shake their head right there, Mary. Yeah. <clears throat> because basically, the answer, we already know. And that's 42. Mm. Yeah. Well, and knowing that in itself puts you like in a group wow a dork you're a dork yes how many dorks know what that means if you're a dork you know what it means i think uh yeah that's the way to say that right yeah i don't think i've ever met somebody that didn't know that that wasn't a dork wow we've got a common link we've got a foundation holy shit who saw that coming (laughs) i don't know but it's kind of scary 
<laughs> are you are you scared? No. You know, we had to compile a list of people who bicker. You know? Why do we Ooh. find it so entertaining? Hmm. Ah, um, I and don't know. Sad. Well, when you come up to opposition that uh, argues your point, whatever your point is, mm -hmm. doesn't leave you room for any conversation. It's over. It's already done. So what's left? Mm. Oh, no, I'm asking you and you don't know. Hey, wait a minute. Well, maybe we should seek therapy. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking that <laughs> maybe just maybe when we admit that we don't know, then that life is good. Oh, yeah. Shit. No. I I laugh at people that tell me how educated they are, you know, because, you know, when your car breaks down at four o'clock in the morning, tell me how educated you are about that. Mm, I tell you what, I know how to get my ass home. Yeah. Well, you know what I know how to do? What's that? Not be out in a fucking car at four o'clock in the morning. I have had to do such things <laughs> simply because I was no, coming man, home chose, from seeing uh, kids or something. But chose yeah. to do them. Don't be yes. a victim of your own choices. It doesn't fool me. Oh, I'm not saying I'd... I'm a victim of it. Uh -huh. Oh, um, you said you you had to. What, well, what, what? <laughs> I have I have been out at such I'm... times on the way home. <laughs> I know you are. I know you are. I'm married. I know exactly what you mean. Because mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's. I think some some of us just uh, take the togetherness thing more personally than others. Okay. Yeah, I thought I thought togetherness was a personal thing, unless you know uh, you're just I trying don't... to get your shit together and. That's hopefully a solo act. You? I don't know what that means. I was just go. My mind was going towards that. Me and Cirque are pretty much uh, connected, either electric or personal, every day. Oh, hey, you, you know? know what? Jay hmm. Dredd is going for Lynch. <laughs> well, I hope he hangs somebody very high. Good luck, Clint Eastwood, Jay Dredd. <laughs> Poor guy. I hope he videotapes one of his uh, his liberal ass whippings that he performs as a service to the Massachusetts public. Mm. You know, saving one liberal rib libtard at a time by their throat, Ooh. if necessary. Oh, but so... he won't videotape it. I think there's enough big liberal pussies out there that'd stomp him into the pavement. But hey, what do I know? Ah. Uh... But there are, I mean, people, you can't judge a person's abilities by the political beliefs they hold. That's stupid. Yeah, Good that's God. true. But you can't judge, you can't judge a human being based off one particular part of the game. Yeah. True. But when you start adding all the levels together and you see their stand on those levels, police, military, government. Yeah, but how do you know that that's really their stand? Or maybe they're just being argumentative. Oh, let me tell you a secret. You're not going to believe this. Pro what? Are you sitting down? This, yes, this I is am, a actually. down cup cigarette moment. I don't give a fuck. That's the answer to that. It's just something to talk about or type about on the Internet. Oh, outside okay. Of that. Hey, I'm telling you, when I go down to the... Uh, mean streets of Freddy 10 on my excursions. Do you know who I don't take with me? Cycles? Or Any Hannah. of you. Nobody. That's my time. I'm just out there doing my little my little thing alone for a little bit in the day, and then I come back to the real world. <laughs> ah. ah. Yeah, and it's really bizarre because the Danish thing works in my advantage because it's a tribal kind of a language. It's not who would expect anybody to speak this fucking language from where I'm from? <laughs> Shit, I barely speak English. <laughs> Ask an English twat, they'll tell you. Hey, English is my second language. My first language is gibberish. Have you, uh, you know, I grew up listening to people speak the language in, in like the 50s in film. Mm -hmm. You know, 
or the the orator kind of voices, the Cary Grants and those types. Yeah. And it and it turned into. Adrian. Ooh. Ooh. For fuck's sake, Arnold Schwarzenegger was the governor of California. Yeah. I mean, could it be any more unbelievable than that to anybody? Um. Did did that that just nailed the fucking coffin lid for me i went holy fuck everybody's gonna realize tomorrow that this is all a big performance by a bunch of actors remember reagan everybody ha. arnold get it actors get yeah. it white yeah. house well you, you know, know what what happened mary he was the second banana to a chimp in a lot of his movies so there you go yeah but you know what happened with my big expectation of the grand everybody was gonna get it uh what Nothing. Oh. <laughs> no. The people I lived with didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. They well. didn't get it. So the the bigger the the mess that they make, the easier it is for them to get away with it. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I yeah. don't know how this works. And you can't get any organized kind of resistance. You just get people petitioning the government to stop sticking a dick up their ass and then the government says no nope, we're gonna stick it up your ass and they go but we'll petition again <laughs> oh hey hey there'll be forty nine thousand of us next time <laughs> yeah yeah and you'll be sorry by golly yeah, well, where, where is okay but okay seriously where's the tipping point that there's come something's coming i feel different the anger level is different. It's more serious. See, and I, I keep mean, seeing all this stuff of, 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 you know, something big is going down and all that other fun yeah. shit. Yeah. There's, there's always something big is going down right. or and, something's and daily, coming. So, yeah, but I think it's happening. I'm, I'm tired of being terrified, so now I want to be certified. <laughs> <laughs> I get that state approval, and they'll go. Well, if you're able, check right on time. They'll ignore me. Yeah, oh. I'll just ask. Which way is Copenhagen? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um, hey, according to a French hey, probe, nothing naughty about that. <laughs> French probe. Nothing naughty about a French probe. <laughs> I, you don't know my wife. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> Well, you need to talk I, circle I wonder if that's similar to a French tickler. But in any case. Um, <laughs> over on World Truth TV, yeah. it was on uh, Twitter. Um, Baron David de Rothschild is um, in trouble. Yeah. The Rothschild Bank is under criminal investigation. By in who, Fran though? In Dude. France. You know those froggy in people. France. Okay. So they're in France. They're and this will go on for how many years? Oh, and... but they have the guillotine. We will slice off your head. You dirty bastards. You really think they do that? I don't. No, no. I... But And I think these people have enough money to parade a set of people in front of us, live on television, fucking behead them live on television, and then just continue what they're doing. Just call it something else. Mm. Mm. I don't want to watch. Well, good thing I don't well, have cable TV. All I'm asking you to do is explain two simple historical things I was raised to believe. And once you explain those two things, I'll listen to anything. Okay. And the first one is, how did Oswald shoot Kennedy? And then how did we ever go to the moon? <laughs> nope. Not going to happen. Well, you see, uh, one of the very first moving picture movies, it wasn't even a talkie, that was made was something about going to the moon. And they had really cool special effects. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> I Yeah. Give them, but see, the, there you go. Then it draws all that importance to understanding that being smart enough to know the world is around. See, it doesn't matter what it is it matters that you're in the group yeah 
That's why I rebel against it and go, well, fuck you. And beside that, your arguments really don't make any sense yeah. unless you're in a special group that understands what they mean. Ooh, thank you, sweetie. Yeah, that understands Guess what that I just got. you just got coffee. Yeah. I know, hush. No, no, no. She's on a break. She's oh. still suffering. Oh, you still got fingers. tea? But I got some tea, yeah. Yay. Thought that was nice of her. Well, See, I've been in here yakking my fucking jaw for an hour. Those people in those in those special groups, they know the special spells and the different ways that you can manipulate things to Yes. Yeah. And yeah. and that's what I keep seeing. I every time I look at this stuff I think, man, there's another lie built on another lie, built on another lie, built on another lie. I don't think you could ever work your way back to the original lie that they started with because there's it. well there's so it, many of them that doesn't really matter anyway well and getting back to the <clears throat> root core of all this doesn't help change anything no there's no. a few specific lies that if they got repaired life would improve in, in immediately yeah, in, in physical, you could have physical fucking results inside of six months because the equipment is available to upgrade to use hemp. Oh yeah, right. Well, get get off the oil. There you go. Replace it with hemp. The country would have to take an ass kicking. People would be crying like a little baby because they go without this and that for a few weeks. And see, so progress, real true progress that we need won't happen because we're addicted to the things that we have as a collective. Uh -huh. It's not anyone's fault. Fuck. We're just people. Christ. That sheep thing is fun and, and about the politics. But on the other side of it, we're all stuck in the same fucking thing altogether. Whether you know it or not, whether you care or not, whether you understand it or not, doesn't matter. It's how you look at it that matters. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, every damn one of us on this planet, somebody is going to call us a sheep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? I got somebody that cares about me, so... it takes the edge off the end of the world you know, oh. I, yeah i don't i don't sit, i don't sit around and dwell about oh the fucking russians are gonna fight the americans and we're only 1400 miles away i think from syria i'm not positive i'd do a check on it that yeah. might be the distance i travel to get here i i'm a little confused on the map right now Corn but uh, well, let's just say this. I'm closer to Syria than you are. Yes, you are. Okay. Yes, you are. Yeah. And, and you're a and, lot closer to Russia, Mother Russia, than I am. Yeah, because we have Russian business interests here. So as far as all that government corporation crap, that's it. fuck all of that shit. You know, without it, we don't have a society. But with it, because of the way that they do it, we have this mess that could be a lot better if they didn't base it all on bullshit and stories and lies. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but convincing on. some, you know that, who was it, Mark Twain? Um, <laughs> yeah, great yeah. quotes. It's, it's, Wait, uh, is Kate here? Kate does the quote thing. She knows Mark Twain. Yeah, something, Kate's something smart. about, you know um, that? yeah, oh, Kate Never. is very intelligent. Damn, her and Moose and who, who else? You're a slow typer like me, so we end up looking slow on the <laughs> trivia game. But the ones that can type, wow. I know. It's like bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> yeah. And I'll be in there like number four, <laughs> number five, <laughs> yeah. sometimes number two or three, but most of the time I, I type bad. <laughs> well, see, and the only but, way I get questions is because they have to be something really obscure. Because that's the kind of mind I got, is one of those obscure minds. <laughs> right. But, you know, for people, for people, I give poor Hansel. He's such a, he's such a, an attention whore that I forget there's other people to appreciate. So, so I brought up Kate, you know, because I always say good morning to her when I see her come on. Because I'm already up and about, been up for hours. Yeah. And her first part of the day, it's quiet on the RLM. So I get to say good morning and how are you doing and before the chaos all starts. Yeah. Okay, Grimmy was looking for a, a quote from Twain. And it's something about, um, 
it's easier to convince someone with a lie than to convince them they've been or something along those lines. Gosh darn it! Now I'm gonna, you know what? I'm at a computer and I know how yeah, to do a duck you're duck still go. Still asking us to do your dirty work, you? Yes, I girl. am. Yes, See I what am. a dork you can be. But any, I was just for some reason it came to mind because I've been playing uh, trivia and Kate's come on a few times lately and. <laughs> Her and Rob works. They go in these streaks, and you can't be fast as them. And, and the Rob, I fucker. I'm I'm not very good at trivia, Miss Mary. It's it's embarrassing, and I'm the dork. I should do better, but I think they're all a bunch of nerds. <laughs> ah, okay. Hmm. It's there. It is. What are you looking for? Uh, I found it. It's yeah, easier. I figured that. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Quote thing. <laughs> it's easier to fool people than to convince them that they have been fooled. Yes. 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 There it go. There you go. But yeah. Hmm. And people people are easily fooled simply because they want to see what they want to see. You know, and they well, want to interpret it. All of us. And yeah, well, I, that's why I say is, people. That is me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what's wrong with that? There is nothing wrong with it so long as it doesn't cause you harm. Well, yeah, but that's the point is none of the mentality behind any of it does. Until you take a physical action, nobody's hurt. So where does the negative physical action come that causes all these fucking problems that we have? Well, the, the negative physical action is the belief and then acting on that belief. When no, it no. comes to, I'm not talking about belief. Belief in your mind is your business. Blah blah blah. I mean, yeah, but that's even, that's know. what I'm talking about. Is with you know, with all these lies and stuff, and people that believe these lies. Crime any Christmas. Right. There's people out there threatening to kill people because <laughs> they're marching for the Second Amendment, and they're going, "You should die." And it's like, wow, really? Mm. They have a differing opinion from yours, mm -hmm. and therefore yeah. they must die. And you're the yeah. peace, Nick. All yeah. righty, you've got me convinced. I say arm everybody and just have a free for all. What fucking not? Uh, what do you call it? Uh, survival of the fittest, natural selection. Let it take its course. Quit uh, controlling it. Well, I have my lawn you know, chair. The inoculations are working. It's just so fucking slow. It's such a slow drug out war. Well, and, it's supposed to be. You're still losing a, how many a year through medicine alone? Oh cripes, medical deaths or deaths yeah, directly related deaths. to yeah. medical treatments medical is treatment. yeah is way higher than gun it deaths. It surpasses yeah but it surpasses all the murders and crime deaths connected to crime or yeah. something mis Yeah. These things are done on purpose for a profit and when you find it out you find it out. The information's right in front of you. Well, and that was like um somebody had had put it th I think it was Dr. Oz believes that every child should um get all of their vaccines but he does not vaccinate his children <clears throat> and um yeah I think it was hip well maybe I didn't there it is medical definition of the hippocratic oath which the hippocratic <laughs> oath um yeah ow 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 I have a kitty cat with claws damn girlfriend ouch she was poking the girls. It's like, no, don't do that. I don't want them to deflate. In any case, the classic Hippocratic Oath, um, yeah. at the end of it, which it's basically an oath to the gods, which, you know, Greek, yeah. whatever, whatever. Yeah. But it says, if I fulfill this oath and do not violate it, may I be grant or may it be granted to me to enjoy life and art being honored with fame among all men for all time to come. If I transgress it I s and swear falsely, may the opposite of all this be my lot. That's in the original one. That is not in the new updated version. The okay. new updated one is, if I do not violate this oath, um, 
May I enjoy life and art, respected while I live, and remember with, remembered with affection thereafter. May I always act so as to preserve the finest traditions of my calling, and may I long experience the joy of healing those who seek my help. It does not, it does not in there anywhere say, and if I don't, or if I am false in what I do, may I receive the repercussions of that falsehood. Nowhere in there, in the new updated version. And it's like, you, you bastards, you bastards. Okay. All right. So, so what I think the bulk of the problem comes down to is the way we've all been hustled into believing a story that's obviously not true. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, it's just like Every, the Hippocratic Oath. Everybody thinks well, first do no harm. It doesn't say that anywhere in there. Wow. Do no harm. No, that's a uh, that's an atheist or atheist, uh, an anarchist position to take. And that you know what they, these people have done with that. Riots have nothing to do with anarchists. That's just a label they throw at it because oh, it, yeah. it'll because how uneducated the people are that listen to this crap. Well, because they, they want, claim they're yeah. not, but they're complete lame. Yeah, they want people to believe that anarchy equals chaos. Yeah, just because I'll defend myself doesn't mean I'm looking for trouble. You know? Yeah. Step on me, and, and I might not be so nice. You don't know. I'm just saying I don't run around looking for it. I don't really care anymore. You know, it's not like I don't feel drawn to it. So, boom, it's gone. Been gone for 20 years. Well, there you go. Well, I I believe that people are have aggression in them in society and, and depending on that person, sometimes they're they're like loose cannons wandering around amongst just the normal folk. Oh, yeah, they're just spoiling the for something. Well, you're likely to find that in a bigger population than a small one. A small one uh, will treat people differently than a big city. And in a small one, you can pretty much guess that everybody knows that um, that one person that's always spoiling for fight. So they either give them a wide berth or they let them know, bring it, child, and I will teach you a lesson. Which usually backs them down because that's usually the way it is. You, they're usually just big bullies that are an awful lot of talk. Hmm. So. Yeah, well, I... Whatever, tra la 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 la. Lines on a screen, well, words in my words in my head. In the long run, at the end of the day, when I go to bed, none of that shit's there. It's all behind me because I did it. It's over. I don't carry it around like it's a thing. That would be crazy. Mm. You know. But what I did do is, uh, I learned how to make the best of my. Uh, time as I'm living it yeah you know try to make a decision and stick to the, the decision until it's run its course yeah so as long as Cirque still you know can stand the side of me then everything's good and if it, yeah and you know and there you go mm -hmm. so you deal yeah every morning I wake up and there's tea or coffee yeah and cycles. And she just broke her fucking hand, so, you know, she's kind of struggling a little bit. It's healing, and it's a tough position to, to watch somebody that you live with be in, too. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to tell her, this, is, this hasn't this only been about you, <laughs> you know. Watching it hasn't been a picnic. Yep. Yeah, right. Well, but I, I've got the, the fortune of not being the victim of a... a of a physical accident that broke a couple of fingers. But on the other hand, happened to my best friend. So hmm? I'm involved kind of because I'm involved. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I'm a cold, I'm a cold man, but I'm not that cold. You know, when I see broken fingers, even I, even I go, wow, <laughs> that's, that's gotta hurt. Yeah. yeah. I'm not, I'm not giggling at her. 
because, hey, look at you. You were too dumb to follow the directions. You know, shit. No, you had an accident and something went wrong. And like many people, it's, if there is a giggle, it's a very uncomfortable. Wow, this makes me very uncomfortable, and I don't want to sit here and cry, so I'm going to giggle. I do that. Was, I know a lot of people was, that do She was that. pretty open about it on the RLM the other day. She said she was feeling bitchy and you know, because she couldn't do what she wanted to do. Yeah. So she had talked to the doctor. That's a lot of disappointment, I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. So watching that, yeah, it's what I'm saying is watching that wasn't pleasant. I didn't get a kick out of it. Yeah. yeah. I'm not holding up my ogre, you know, my uh, ogre status behaving that way. Oh, man. You know, the other, yeah, the other sharks are going to laugh at me. <laughs> 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 whoop whoop yeah well yeah. i'll drop another two points in the polls what's new uh, mm. Mm. speaking of which hey grim nerd i went over to uh spreaker and oh sent him my email and the all that and got me a, a window so i can see the dork table i thought that was really cool they're real organized. It's it's a small um, speaker. It's 170. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. It's not a very big platform of people. Well, of the people that were in the thing I did, whatever that was. There was a yeah. number. Yeah. That was how many people are, how are many there. Fo- right? How many followers there are on yeah. the RLM channel. Yes. Yeah. So it's small, but man, it's, it's, uh, it's well done. It's quality. It's yeah. very professional. Yeah, it's it's as good as the uh, dork table stuff on uh, on Grimm's pa- podcasts. Easy to easy to open, easy to you know. It doesn't interfere with everything else you're doing. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You know how Skype Skype is so fucking intrusive in this fucking Windows shit. Yeah, you can't get away from. I'm a gamer. Oh, yeah. here we go with my dork side. <laughs> 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 I've been playing this fucking. Stupid childy game since I was in America years and years and years. Mm-hmm. About a lifetime subscript. I'm a dork for fuck's sake. So yeah, so I'm a slave to fucking Windows because I want to play this damn game. <laughs> 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 it, I could it, yeah, if I had the balls to just walk from that and leave it behind, I could be off Windows tonight. But I don't want to. I don't <laughs> <See>? want to. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. It's we're all tied to this fucking imaginary game that we play one way or another way. It's how seriously do you take it? If you can't laugh at it, then you're taking it really fucking serious. Yeah. N- uh, me, not so much. <laughs> I have a giggle about it all. Hey, there's Moose. I yeah, just saw the Moosey uh, RLM joined screen. In. Yeah. Uh, she's going to festival in May. Ooh, May's coming. Yeah. That's the ninth month. Yeah, that's the best one. All the all the good ones start with Jew, but the best one is May. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I um, I got to tell you last May was not I mean it was cool, but yeah, it was Quite literally cool, too. Yeah, because we had a freaking blizzard the first of May. Well, you're in a different area than us. Yes, yes, but you're you're in higher latitudes. Yeah, it's not very extreme here. I'm just Jewish, and it's too hot, and it's too cold. That's what I do. (laughs) Oh, okay, Goldilocks. (laughs) Doesn't matter if I'm in Miami or L.A. It's always too something. Just It's my, uh, what do they call that, like a religious rite or something? Do you know that uh, in America you can't run for a public office if you're uh, anti-Semitic? Oh, why does that not surprise me? You know, yeah, some of the, the things, some okay, of the stuff wait. I'm listening to, though, lately, it's not that... This, should be, Go this ahead. should be common knowledge so that you find out who the fucking enemy is. Well, yeah. Yeah, you it's know... Not Palestine. You know you who that. owns you by who you're not allowed to um, talk bad about. So, yeah. Right, but I mean, I'm I'm related to people that would bomb Palestine. And wait a minute, <laughs> not around me. Don't do that shit. <sighs> there you go, friction right from that because they're you know, more Jewish than me. Mm, they're Jewy Jews. 
Well, uh, well, they're gone. Where you're now, a Mexican, but, yeah, you're a Mexa Jew. Yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> I could start my own religion. I wonder what would I call it? You get a cult, start a cult, have a fall. Nah, mm. then I'd have to be up at the crack of ten to control my slaves and minions. <laughs> nah, I'll pass. Doesn't sound so good after all. You know, because slaves and minions need direction, and then they need enforcement, and then they need punishment for when they don't come through. It, they're just a pain in the ass. And then occasionally I mean, you have to come up with some manna and some loaves and fishes because they're all whining. We're yeah, hungry. I'm going to... I'm going to hang with the gods and leave the minions to their own. <laughs> to their own devices? Yeah. I, I don't know. Wouldn't that be strange if all seven billion of us secretly thought we were God? <laughs> <laughs> some oh. people are just more open about it than others. No, yeah, <laughs> some of them aren't so secretive. Yeah, Some yeah. of them are like, I am your God. Yeah, well, well, they are the chosen. You know, and that's one of those things that some of these videos. I'm, I'm, I'm. It's like I said last night, I'm listening to some weird shit lately. But it's fascinating, you know, to to, to connect dots and all this fun stuff. Mm -hmm. And these these guys were talking about how it's actually the Jesuits and not the Jews. Although I think the Here Jesuits, the yeah. Jesuits may have found a willing dupe. In the Jews. I but, like my answer better than all these professional fucking monkeys that are chopping everybody up into groups. Yeah. It's all of them. Well, it's yeah. It's all of them or it's none of them. It's not a chance thing. This is a fucking plan. We're being done like this is like a recipe. <laughs> and oh, we're yeah. being told exactly right here. This is what we're doing to you. Suffer. Yeah. Well, yeah, because if they don't, you know, if they don't sprinkle a little bit of truth in there, everybody would be going, oh, bullshit. There's got to be a sprinkling of truth because your your bullshit meter would be going off if there wasn't at least a sprinkling of truth in there in anything. Well, you know, where I'm really baffled the most outside of commerce, there's no reason for government whatsoever. And. If you're not in commerce, what do you need government for? Yeah, but even if you do have commerce, what do you need government for if people are going, if people well, are honest? Okay. You, wait, wait, wait. You know, if you keep keep your commerce honest, you don't need a governing agency. You don't need someone to be the, I've got the billy club, and if you don't treat him right, I'm going to whop you upside the head. You don't but need that people shit. people that are convinced that is the right way to do it, Mary, that's... You're yeah, kind of overlooking that side of it. No, I'm not overlooking it. I'm just pointing out what I think is obvious. That, you know, if you're honest with people, you really don't need all this other fun shit. That, well, there's the hidden meaning behind the truth underneath the three layers of other shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, if we weren't living in a lie-based uh, communication, then we wouldn't be where we are. Yeah. Because based on honesty in the first place, we wouldn't get these results. These are the results of lies and deception. What the fuck do you need to know after that? Yeah. How can how can a man claim that anything has a value if it's been proven that it's all made up out of nothing? Then what exactly is your value? <laughs> well, the thing, well, then why are you using that to measure it? If it's got no value, I don't understand the dollar anymore. Oh, yeah. do you know what I mean by that at all? I mean, uh, does I, that translate? I kinda, well, that last little bit where you said, "What okay. do you measure the?" Then, then I, I got, got a, it. I got, a, I got a stack of dollar bill paper. Uh huh. Okay? And when you think about it, say if I had ten thousand dollars in a hundred dollar bills in a stack on the desk in front of me, in America, where would I spend it? I don't know, because, you know, there's a lot of places that won't take hundreds anymore. It's my point. On top of the money belongs to the Federal Reserve Bank. They're just letting me use it. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm paying the interest on it that they want for selling it to the government to let me use it. Yeah. 
And I went, wait a minute. If I did that to you, you'd beat me up for trying to steal from you, you fucking punk. But no, that's government. Government can operate like that. Yeah, when, well, huh? that's that's that whole belief that there needs to be an external authority. As opposed to two people just working out their differences or disagreements just mano a mano and just saying, hey, you know, yeah. that tomato really was not that tasty. And you told me that it was the best yeah. tasting tomato ever. Well, how can it be the best tasting tomato ever if you haven't taken a bite out of it? How are you going to know? Why put yourself in a position to be spoken to like that? Cirk grew tomatoes. And that sentence never got spoken in Danish or English. Oh, yeah? It was, oh, we grew tomatoes. Eat. None of all that yeah. drivel afterward never happened. Yeah. So, wow. yeah, the competition and the, I've got the best, all this horse shit. Yeah. It's my insane. Yeah. My mother asked me, is your soil any good this year? And I said, yes, mother, my soil is really good. Been adding all kinds of natural compost. You just grow the best cucumbers and tomatoes I've ever eaten. And I said, mom, they're free. That's why they're best. <laughs> they don't cost you nothing. So. Exactly. But. The the comp what all I mean is the competition isn't in those kind of uh, encounters. Yeah, people are just generous with food when they got it. And it grows. It's a different behavior. Yeah, there is no best or oh wow you're treated good. Can I have one? Okay, let's eat them. And that's the reward of it. And not this oh I got the biggest one or the best one. It was yeah. we got some tomatoes. Yeah. Well, it's a different life lesson I learned in getting out of the city. Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah, I would never experience life like this in Denmark if I hadn't. I'd be in the city being however I was in the city. Yeah. Oh, agreed, yeah. Big Red. Yeah, buyer beware requires no oversight. And that's true. You know, the buyer needs to needs to be... Um, honest is yeah, the word. Well, honest. What's the big fucking problem? Well, honest. the seller needs hard. to be honest, it. and the buyer needs to also use their better but judgment. We've been raised right, and we've been raised to think that way in the first place. Yeah. They they, they nurture the uh, the nasty conniving side within you out. They bring it out with all this crap. They know what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's hard to walk away from certain things in life, but if you don't, they own you. So there you go. Pick yeah. prison. Yeah. There you have that. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to know which tomatoes are the best tomatoes because I'm growing nine different kinds of tomatoes this year. I'm not going to judge any of them. <laughs> I am I'm while I'm consuming go, them. I'm going to go, some tomatoes and get some people. Yay. I'm going to because I'm going to be consuming them. And I'm going to go, oh, this one yeah. tastes a lot better than that one. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm kind of rooting. For, yeah, I understand that. But I'm kind of rooting for you doing something in the uh, in the vegetable business. If If you do that, that's what I'd like to. Yeah, I'd like to see you do that. Well, and that is pretty much the game plan. I mean, I that's right, right. pretty so, much what well, I did yesterday was a lot of planting of, of ginger uh, and turmeric. Uh, and I think I did, well, I did two of each kind of tomato. So I'm going to have 18 tomato plants. Are you, taking, they all, pictures for, are you taking pictures for us boring old um, RLM people that like to see your crap? Yep. Yep. I bet Cirque would like to see your garden in Kansas because she's Danish. Ah. And it would be exotic for her. Yeah, sure. And not only that, but I'm from America, and sometimes I feel connected to that fucking land because it's there so long. Yeah. You know, I saw so many good things in America, way more than the bad. You know, and the bad, I'm not talking about all, all this imaginary political shit. I'm talking about murders and bank robberies and crime and violence. I didn't see as much of that as the movies make it out to have happen. Yeah. But I was raised by a father that wasn't shy. Let's say that. Yeah. Well, mine wasn't either, but <clears throat> yeah, but it was, it's not the same thing as being abused in public by a stranger. Physically. True. 
True. Okay. It's just the disciplinary skills of a human being are sometimes limited. And a, a man can only do what he knows. True. True. Okay. And I'll there tell you, you what, right. you did not yeah. want to act up in public around my mother. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, see, we, we were raised as young as I can remember ever being raised to treat mom a certain way. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a push or a shove about it. It was just that was the way it was done, and that's what we did. Mm. So mom had an easy ride for the, you know, having two boys. We treated her fair. We were yeah. good to her. We weren't, yeah. Never never called my mom names or swore at her. Or, but, you know, I was a stubborn little fucker, and I wouldn't do shit, and I pissed her off. But I was always nice about it. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, she brought yeah. you into this world. <laughs> right, I didn't fight her back or, you know, just argue. When I won't do this or crap like that, but nothing ever, you know, for a woman that was so small and fragile, you know, but I was always good with my mom. Yeah. yeah. One good thing I've done my whole life, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you know, be, be, you know pre, pre um, old enough to know what the fuck was going on. Well... And you had a Jewish mother, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure did. But my English mother could make a fucking burrito that would knock your feet off. And go, wow. Damn, that's hot. <laughs> yeah. Go, Shit. Yeah. Because, well, she's Jewish. So Jewish people eat food that's so disgusting I can't eat it. Hot and spicy and ugh. No, thank you. Oh, really? It's like. Yeah, it's like speaking English with a mouth full of glass. It's painful. <laughs> ah, see, I do like my spicy food. See, so. there you go. But different cultures have different um, foods that bring what brings you a result doesn't necessarily bring me that same exact result. Mine's going to be personal. Yeah. To my to my body. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. yeah, come on. It's how people do each other with it. Chili, try the chili. And one guy can actually eat it and not throw up, and the other guy eats it, and he's just can't handle it. His system just rejects it. Mm -hmm. See, and I don't make my chili too hot because I have grandkids that don't like spicy. Right, but it's not but, about the hot. It's about the person that's eating it. That's that's true, personal taste. What you're, yeah, well, you're, yeah, or what your body's designed to to, to use as fuel. That's an ethnic thing, I think. Well, I think, yeah, because it's what you grew up with. So it's it's not yeah. just, yeah, eth yeah it's. But I think there's more to it. Like your bones and shit are partial to certain things and where you're born and all that. And you, you acclimate to where you are. Instead of having the things that you need, your body learns to take advantage of with the crap that they feed you <laughs> yeah oh okay. see and that reminds yeah. me of, of Did that uh, make uh, sense? How, I yeah that. i probably said it backwards <laughs> well um that dr jennifer daniels um yeah. she she talks about that and she said that your body is actually acclimated for the foods that are produced in your area and when you consume foods that are from different areas you start getting that yearning to wish to go there which i've never really had a yearning to go somewhere that grows bananas but uh, hmm. i do consume a lot of bananas um hmm. like i try to at least one every day haven't for now the last few make days it really popular on the dork table i'm sure it is <laughs> but um oh, oh you I, sick I puppy <laughs> you are a and i went there too god listening. dang it <laughs> but um yeah it's you know it's kind of weird though when when you stop and think Sorry. about it and a lot of the foods yeah. that um, well like when I went over to the UK when my daughter was over there a lot of that food over there it just it was mm. the same stuff same basic food that I would prepare here some of it was and yet it just tasted different it was it yeah. just wasn't yeah and some yep. of it just did body. not sit well yeah. And your body knows, yeah, because it gets accustomed to, yeah. Where, why don't they have classes about these things in school? Because Teach those, you how, you know, those are useful things. How vegetables will make your body last longer. Yeah. I yeah. found out really fucking late because 
Um, Cirque's pretty good about making sure I, I eat decent food and don't eat a lot of crap. Yeah, eat your vegetables. The, <laughs> yeah, but I'm not a big vegetable guy. But if you cook them and bury them in other shit, then, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, okay. Well, I make a lot of stews and casseroles and then salads because I like to get the veggies in there. She just broke her hand. And yes, <laughs> and she can't page. do a lot of that stuff. <laughs> and you need to yeah. help out. In the, you need to be more helpful in the kitchen. Yeah, I, I eat all my food. <laughs> she says I need to be more helpful in the kitchen. I said I eat all my food. <laughs> No, Mary said that. <laughs> I know that, but Mary said it for you. <laughs> Actually, you, you know my wife a little bit, but there's some things about my wife you, know, you don't know. Oh, like she doesn't want you in the kitchen? Well, oh, you know. <laughs> she would just not be mean about it and say it that way. See, I'm not, I'm not complete dumbass. I'm just a clumsy wanderer and i don't do good in kitchens I, it's got to be a task right in front of me and keep my attention and if i walk off it's over <laughs> I, i'm liable to be watching a movie you know? so we've decided as a couple that uh -huh. she should be the one that handles food preparation <laughs> for our collective you know security and safety Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, sure. <laughs> you know, That's kind of like me. Please, seriously. I am in the kitchen. I am cooking. I have a knife in my hand. <laughs> and that usually clears the room for me. So, yeah. Oh. And <laughs> you want to hear the funny? I wouldn't be afraid of you for at all. I would just think it was a joke. So you'd probably have to stab me. Ouch. It's going to be horrible. I hope you don't do that, oh. Miss Mary. <laughs> Damn it. I forgot Turn to it tell it that it's... Um, hey. Hey, what? I'm, I'm trying to do my weather, but oh, I forgot so I'm you... Gramsci dork instead of... What did you... Did anybody like that, that word crap we did last week? Was it funny enough to bother to ever do it again? Did you listen to it? I listened to it. <laughs> I was going to listen to it, and then my mom called, and then I got to, I squirreled. It yeah. was. You're funny. Maybe today I'm, I've not been in a very funny mood, but, yeah, that was funny, the ten words. Well, you know, we don't have that much time left, so if you wish to play one of those games, I'm game. Don't, you're game? You want to, oh, here, we'll just do the words what, that you used last week. Then. What, well, what was it? You didn't you say something earlier in the week about using them in a sentence? This could be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me look up the words. Okay, let's it, yeah, let's give it a try. Okay, last week, to catch everybody up, that's probably could care less anyway, it's just fun. Uh, we had word misassociation at the dork table. And I'm going to use the words that she came up with. And she's <laughs> going to put that word in a sentence. Spur of the moment, right off the top of your head, make it up as you go. Cool. All right. Ready? Uh-huh. Word number one, music. I love to listen to music, but I don't do it well. Well, that wasn't very funny. Okay. Sorry. Word, no, well, th we, this we're experimenting with uh, dork ideas to give these crazy people something to laugh at. Let's see if it works. This may not work. Okay. Word number two, okay. Bubba. Bubba, oh my God, my slinky dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I got a visual of that. Yeah, okay. but he really is. His tail wags his body. Bubba is just a Bubba. That's just all there <laughs> yeah. is to it. But Bubba, bubba, bubba. He's okay, a big glue. I think this is two words, but it might be one word. Slow poke. Slap. <laughs> 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 <Yeah, slap. laughs> <laughs> that was the delivery. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
what puts a smile on my face. Um, <laughs> that's, that's not quite a sentence. Okay. Try again. Uh, a slow poke is what. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Never mind. Take two. Moving along. <laughs> so are you going to skip that word? Uh, well, I, <laughs> I started the sentence. I gave you the last half of the sentence and then okay. gave you the first. <laughs> All right. Oh, Let's, Grimmy says Bubba well, I, equals hands. <laughs> no, I think uh, Bubba's got one over on hands, most definitely. Uh, uh, oh, ouch. <laughs> Sorry. It, it's just your delivery well Bubba, anyway. Bubba's a sweetheart he sleeps at, on the floor right beside my bed and makes sure that when I get up in the middle of the night that I don't step on him and all that fun stuff so he's a good doggy do, do, do you really believe that Hans would sleep on the floor beside your bed no <laughs> yeah, there you have it. word number four <laughs> Grimmy put slow poke equals me <laughs> okay <laughs> Word number four is nauseating. Oh my God! Just the thought. Um... <laughs> <laughs> right after slowpoke. <laughs> what a coincidence! Talk about your morning after. <laughs> that's that's called a coyote. Um... <laughs> nauseating. Wow. Just just thinking about some of the people in this world that is like, wow, I'm just really nauseous and nauseated now. But, mm, yeah, mm, yeah, you know, kind of like what you said, but no, no, we just can't go there. <laughs> no. Yeah. Moving yeah. along. Moving along? Moving okay. along, yeah, because nauseating number... is really nauseating. <laughs> <laughs> Word number five, cat. Cat is always hogging my cat is always hogging my bed, and then she always looks at me like, "What? I warmed that spot up for me." Yeah, she's an obnoxious little turd. Oh, I got you all choked up. Or the cat, the gift that keeps on giving, trailing kitty litter throughout the house and leaving hairballs in random places. So yeah. <laughs> Groomy says nauseating that's, too many damn things. <laughs> that's what cats do. Yes, cats are very good at, at leaving litter and hairballs. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And then I'm they so get glad. up on your lap and then they, they do the whole kneading the bread dough thing because they love you and they don't realize they're piercing you. Yeah. Dr. Cooper is mm -hmm. not a hands-on cat. Mm-hmm. Now he'll he'll allow people to pet him and whatnot and carry him and hold him, but when he does the kneading thing, he stands on the stairs on carpet and does it. Ah, well, both mm -hmm. of my cats are hands-on cats, and they like to knead the bread dough. And usually, yeah. Doozer mm -hmm. does it very well while she's laying on my stomach and she kneads the bread dough on my bladder in the middle of the night to let me know that you need to get up and go pee because I want the warm spot you just made. <laughs> you, you know. That qualifies as a mental illness in 14 states. Does it really? How you cool. You want me to name the states? <laughs> <laughs> Word number six. Oh. Mold. Mold. Oh. Well, mold is either something that is growing on the walls or <laughs> part of the science experiment in the refrigerator when you don't clean it very often. Or you, you, could, be, you could be forming things making molds to form things. I'm going to mold you into what I wish you to be. <laughs> hey, yeah, like I'm doing to everybody. Yeah, you're trying to I mold all these you. people, and instead they're getting moldy. <laughs> yeah, you're good, but in the end, you're going to all be like Borg, only Flash Borg. Oh, Flash Borg, yeah. ew, that's kind of... Yeah, and we're referring like, back to nauseating, right? <laughs> I don't know. You might not like it. Does that matter? <laughs> Take it over. I don't care how you feel about it. I don't want to... I'm you anything. I'm telling you, shit. I don't want to be a Flash Borg. Uh, I mean, hell, if you're going to be easily pushed around by some words you hear why not that those words be my words and you can do my bidding and be my minion yeah if it comforts I'll, you I'll to think that way just like the other fuckers will 
Yeah, if it comforts you to this think that it. way, you just go right on thinking that way, darling. That basically what comes after that is, yes, dear. <laughs> well, how many people are saying that to Mr. Obama right now as we speak? Oh, there's probably a lot of them going, yes, dear. And I'll bet you the real Obama is somewhere wearing one of those lovely little self-hugging jackets. Mm. I don't think, I don't know about any of that but the the character that they put out there for us to enjoy was a drag that uh, fucking obama years were horrid yes they were good lord Ugh. the trumple years I aren't don't looking any better those particular years as a society yeah well the trumple years are nauseating as well so there you go wait a minute <laughs> i thought he Gonna save the day. Yes. And... Uh, no. Okay. No. Word number seven. Okay. Dangleberry. <laughs> Speak of the devil, Dangleberry. Oh there no. You go. There's a sentence. Yeah. Speak you know the... he's not. He doesn't even qualify for speaking for the speaking of the devil. Wow. Oh, he's that's he's. That's why I kind of went. Hey, enough. <laughs> yeah. Well, he just he's just a little imp. I overruled you. <laughs> we have now hit Dork Court. Ooh, well, Dangleberry well, we is an imp because he's not worth being a full pimple on the backside of humanity, so he's missing the well, P. Uh, you really think that much of the guy I, at all? I don't. I don't, I don't even. I don't. I don't even. He's an actor in a suit doing a job, making a dollar. Fucking yeah, he's an actor in a suit doing personal. a job, making a dollar, but he enjoys it. That's what really infuriates me is he That's does. People, oh, come on. How many people wouldn't want that particular? They're workers. So they're they're going to work. Oh, God. That's a good, if you're going to have a job, there's a job to fucking have. I wouldn't the want person, it. It's a fucking job. I wouldn't Please. want it. Criminy Christmas. Well, Nobody's worried about you ask getting it either, Mary. That's true. You're not going to hold that fucking seat. I don't, you could hold your breath, but you ain't holding the seat. <laughs> no, I don't want to either. I don't Do you know why you, you won't never sit in that seat? Because I'm not a Jewy bastard. <laughs> I don't know if they're Jews or not. You know, or a Jewy, Jewy bitch. Cow- How about a Jewy Mother's- bitch? Right, right, right. But, you know, I make a lot of jokes about the Jews. No, the Jews are blah, 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 blah. But. I think it's all like one big group and they split up into subgroups to control us. Oh yeah, they're all they're all playing tag. You know, it's it, yeah. or like hot potato. Oh, guess what? You get to be the hot potato today. So this time it's the Jewy bastards. Next time and now guess who's stepping into the arena? It's going to be the Jesuits for a while. And then guess yeah. who's going to step yeah. into the arena? I mean, there's it's always yeah. I'm going every day it's, in and out. Yeah, it's, it's like getting, the boogeyman uh, like of the month club. With the pineapple. <laughs> yeah, it's just the boogeyman of the month club. Well, I know it's a bunch of shit, and you know it's a bunch of shit, but there's some people that really take it seriously. Like, what happens in Spain does not fucking influence my life. Well. Don't care. No, if Spain burnt up tomorrow and all the Spanish people died, I wouldn't know it. Somebody would have to come tell me. Yeah, I do. Get, so, and then how would you know to trust it? I mean, uh, there, well, there you have it. That's why we've got this bogus Internet, because you can make links that aren't even true and sell them as true now. Yeah. So, yeah, the, let me the buyer beware. So you still got the same conquer and divide going. It's still working the same traditional fucking way it, it's always worked. Yep. Politics, religion, education. Those are the three cornerstones to co- to keep us ignorant and fighting amongst our own so that we never get anywhere. Yep, it's right there in front of your face. Politics, many bloodsuckers. But, but can you imagine feeling that somebody else should be suffering because of the way that they think or live that doesn't affect you at all you got nothing you don't even know about it you just think you do but you're judging that guy way the fuck over there wow what a waste of time that must be oh i did i i base my judgments on how people act you, you know, do because you can yeah you can say whatever you damn well please it's your actions that Go. really 
the government will tell you what your actions will be. Yeah, what, what yeah, planet yeah, are you yeah. Living on? I'm what, living in Grammy land. You don't think so? I think that the police are very, very bad fellows. Well, yeah. All of them. Every last fucking one of them. I don't care if they write tickets for speeding. They're fucking not fit for me. I don't want to be around them. Well. Yeah? So guess what? You're not around them. Outside out. Yeah, there you go. I haven't seen an American cop in years. And if I do now, I'm sure he won't be wearing a uniform. Yeah, well, whatever. What? Oh, oh! I right. still I'm just... remember how badly I was treated by the freaking police at the the country I'm from. Yeah. Over well... over absolute fucking garbage. Pulled guns on me and shit. Just stupid fucking, like, uh, like the Three Stooges without all the slapping. Just stupid and chaotic for no reason. Yeah. But they came up with a reason. After they did what they did, they went, ah, oh, this is ridiculous. Well, they've got to. I mean, you know, justifiable excuses and all that other bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, but the truth was so stupid and boring that that wouldn't work. They they had to threaten us, make it bigger than it was. Well, yeah. But why? What? Because they had to, to just they had to justify their threat. their what they were doing. They had to. Make sure that you realize they have to have job security. You must have them around because, and well, no, that wasn't a bad thing. But we're going to blow it clean out of proportion because that's why you need to have me to step in and save the day. Other countries that I travel to, they never did that. Only where I'm from. That's the strange part about it is I'm so accustomed to being abused by the police that when they don't try to abuse me, I notice it. See, and I just don't notice them for the most part. You know, unless I'm driving down the highway and it's like, oh, shit, uh, there's a cop. Uh, I don't notice them. Huh. Uh, well, different different um, childhoods, my dear, I would yes. say. Yes. <laughs> oh. I grew up in the city and, and getting in trouble, uh, I don't know, it was petty little shit like smoking, uh, drinking in parks, crap like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not not any crime waves or nothing, just being a teenager. But being a teenager in the city was different than being a teenager in the country. The, the freedoms were way more restrictive. Well, yeah, I guess. You know, I had I don't... cousins that lived further north of L.A. that would tell me how things were where they lived. Well, and it is. The environment has, an off, has a really big effect on... You know, that's nature versus nurture kind of thing. I want to be a nature nurture guy. Nah, that's too sissy, huh? Nah. nah. I, I, stay, what, I don't I know. know if, there I are times into. when dealing with nature is not necessarily a sissy thing. <laughs> I live out here in Kansas, remember, where the finger of God comes down from the sky every once in a while. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you know, last week I did make, make a point of saying that for nature and the laboratory to mix is not a good thing. No. No. Uh-uh. It sounds like a good thing. It's sold as a good thing, but the results can never be good. Well, yeah, especially when they go, we've been to the Amazon so that we could borrow from nature and bring this product to you. Wow, talk about a sell. Damn. Yeah. All right, well... Apparently, I missed that ad, but I was a salesman, so I know what you mean. Yeah. That's, it's all a big indoctrination into a game. Yeah. And the shit that we should be taught, wow, if you find out, you're lucky. And then when you do find out half of it, you probably don't believe it anyway. Well, not you, but people that can hear my voice on occasion or read my words on the screen Mm -hmm. disagree with me. Yeah, they tell me I live in La La Land. No, it's okay. La La Land is but quite nice I this time of fucking, year. I live in La La Land. That's the fucking reality of it. Because this place has never been exposed to the kind of abuse that I have grew up with. These people wouldn't even understand what that was about. They're not... They're a small community. It says... I guess it's self-explanatory. 
but the anon the anonymity of the city life man people can get away with shit that here they're accountable for it yeah changes yeah it changes my uh how i see the world around me well good well of course small is better and big is a trap yep who knew I know, I I'm shocked. I was raised in a freaking city, My, I thought everybody grew up like I grew up until I got out of it and found out, hey, this is different. Oh, see, see? Now you need to not take that from your own personal experience and extrapolate it out to those that you're dealing with and realize that they're coming from a very similar place. You know, the way they grew up, maybe they're just realizing, wow, everybody didn't grow up like that. That was a tough lesson for me to learn. Ah, yeah, I I was wondering how old I was before it even became an issue to give consideration to, you know, because we're all the same and we're all not the same at the exact same time. (laughs) It's all a matter of interpretation, because I can take what you say any damn way I want to. It's my mind reading the words. It's my brain hearing it. So there you go. Yeah. So, yeah. So if I'm insulted by it, that's because I I chose that. And there's only certain times where I can be aware enough of that idea to remember it, to correct myself, because it's a tough one. The rest of the time, I just flow with it. <laughs> ah, there you go. Well, I have a clear moment now and again. I should write them down <laughs> for posterity, <laughs> you know, for the future. Because 100 years from now, there's going to be a kid open in a box, and in that box is going to be this. And he's going to sit there and watch whatever this is, however he sees it. And he's going to go, oh, those people 100 years ago were as funny. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, sometimes we are very funny people, Miss Mary. Let me tell you. Oh, my goodness. Word number eight. Cosine. Cosine? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, don't bother asking because I ain't going to cosign any notes for your ass. Wow, you're a mean old lady. That's right. I told my children that, too. Wow, tightwad. No, they had to learn to pay for their own shit. Wow. What a slave master driver. Whoosh. Well, they were earning uh, money, and I wasn't charging them rent, so by golly, they can pay for their own damn crap they wanted. I don't care. Man. I know, but, you know, that is one of those things. A lot of people think that you should be bailing your child out every time you turn around. No. Your children need to learn to be able to mm-hmm. figure this yeah. stuff out on their own. Yes, I dear. mean, yeah, when they get <laughs> when they get in a really bad predicament, you can go, yeah. I told you so, but or not. Um, but, yeah, kids really need to learn to problem solve. That's what's wrong with a lot of this stuff right now is there's too many people that have been hand-holding and not mm-hmm. a- allowing someone to solve their own problems. They mm. created them. Mm. Okay, and sometimes, and depends on the person, Society creates the problem Sometimes. that you uh, that you fit the mold for. Well, you know, and some of these things. Well, okay. And the best way I can look at that is my youngest daughter got in trouble at school, even though she was not involved in it. And she said, <clears throat> "I don't get it. It was so and so that did it." And I said, "You were hanging out with so and so, weren't you?" She said, yeah, and I said, well, life ain't fair, and when it depends on who you're hanging with <laughs> as to how people will look at you. And so if the person that did it, you hang out with them, then you are going to be lumped in with them. Wow. Not fair. Memories, huh? Yeah. Nah, but we're, o- we're older now, and we can sit back in a little bit of comfort and, and look back at, at things that went well and things that did not go so well. You know, it's all a matter how you how you want to remember it. Yeah, but you know what? When you when things don't go well, that's still a teaching mm-hmm. moment. Well, yeah, I agree with. Ooh, we're agreeing again. I hey, know it's kind of scary, ain't it? 
you could do this every show. I'm going to get mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> you just go right I, ahead. I don't. I don't know. I just think the whole damn thing is you you see what you see and I see what I see. Uh-huh. And we've been convinced that we know how to communicate with each other. And the way that we were taught to do it causes every problem that we have. And if you could get beyond fucking what we think is communication, get on to the next thing, it changes everything. Hmm. But it does require um, eye contact, and if you can't make it, then nah, you lose in the transaction. Oh, see, and I like making eye contact with people, cause man, oh man, you can tell if they don't like holding eye contact with you. Yeah, well, yeah. tells you many things. Ooh. Yes, it does. Well, it depends on the okay, and like like I was saying though, your version of it and mine are still going to be different doing the same exact thing because we're doing it the same thing differently yeah how do you have we ever made that clear to anybody else that we agree on these points do you think anybody gives a shit because mm. i think politically you'd be the republican and i would be considered the liberal because the weed and the the way i look at finance and all that kind of crap see and i always considered myself a liberal until the liberals okay, hijack now, the word. Here, now, my wife tends to say that I'm a conservative. So. Yeah, but in Denmark, you, just, you yeah, probably you just, are. Okay. Well, I guess politically, you know, but I don't participate in the thing, but my behavior politically leans me that way. I would, I would assume because of the weed and the, and the other things that I would be considered a liberal. But apparently not, because I'll say something like arm every fucking body and see you know who see who's left. Mm, Fuck it. Yeah. Either oh either put up your fucking mouth or shut up. Let's go. I'm tired of the fucking sniveling. Yeah. If you're gonna threaten me for every fucking day for years and years and years and not do it, <clears throat> how stupid am I to listen to it for years? It's ridiculous. Well. Well, think that's bullying. You're not doing anything. You're just threatening somebody day after. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. How many years of that do you need in your life? I quit that years ago. Years and years ago. No, no. Go away. Oh, I am busy. Oh, I'm playing fucking gummy drop because I don't have time for that shit. Yeah. <laughs> you have more important things to do. Yeah. My gosh, I'm by well, golly. And we've been manipulated into to thinking shit that doesn't benefit anybody doesn't help anything it's just waste your time mm, yeah politics education religion there you go spend all that time reading about something why not have something fun you know like, oh yeah like uh <laughs> still life with woodpecker <laughs> Oh, I like what Moosey says. Arm everybody with joints of some good shit. There you now, go. Okay, now my regime is open to negotiation. I'm not a tyrant there, Miss Moose. I'm all for the weed. I'd rather I'd rather just say, hey, you know what? Tell the truth. Stop killing each other and grow some fucking hemp like you knew what you're doing. And there you go. We have a different world in physical fucking results in six months. Oh, yeah. Because that's the way nature would cooperate. But no, we've got all these dipshits voting these fucking maniacal psychopaths into power and telling them how telling us how good they have it. It's like, oh, wow, well, you don't see this, do you? Their cage is comfortable. Yeah, well, yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're all in a cage. Eh. Right, What's the exactly. next word? What's oh, the next word? Oh, well. <laughs> we're start. almost out of time. Yeah, well, that's lucky for you. But <laughs> Cirque, Cirque knows she's got a basement she's expected to be in. She'll be in that basement. <laughs> it's Bye called God. marriage. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, but eh, but it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it. But it's still you're confined. Yeah, she's not free to go out and do anything she wants to do all willy nilly. She always says, "Hey, I'm gonna go." Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. <laughs> but I always want to be, you know. Mentioned to, to me, not be, not after you're coming back. Tell me before you go. 
Ah. S- simple courtesies like keeping your partner informed about what you're doing mm-hmm. makes your relationship go a lot smoother. <laughs> oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. I'll be back next week. Doesn't That's not really a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Oh, well. Yeah, I, I might be in the Copenhagen jail. I'll give you a call. <laughs> no, th- those aren't good things. So. No, no. No. Ah, well, some people are like, take forever to learn that. <laughs> mm, yeah. Well, yeah, it took me about 30 years before I finally realized that the law thing, all that criminal crap was bullshit. I mean, it's real. And it, it's true, but don't jump into that. Avoid the shitholes and, you know, work the good parts of town and, and don't be painting in, in a place that can't afford you. Shit like that. Simple uh, things. Oh, okay. Okay. So what's the next word? The le- street, no, number nine. I forgot. Street? Yeah. Number nine is street. Well, the street out in front of my house is not really a street. It's more of a dirt road. <laughs> <laughs> Farmer Brown lives on a dirt road in Kansas. Yeah. Oh, this is priceless. Number 10. <laughs> hey, you're going to like this one. <laughs> Fingered. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed last time, too. I don't know. It's just... Such an out of place word. It's it's got double meanings. You know I mean? <laughs> For all you adults out there in RLM land, that well, was a vagina joke. <laughs> and yet, when the cookie turned up missing, who got fingered for the <laughs> <laughs> the lucky the lucky one? <laughs> <laughs> perspective. Yeah. I guess it would depend on what side of the cookie you're on when that happens. <laughs> I actually have a t-shirt that's a picture of my two oh, oldest oh. grandkids and um, number two grandchild was maybe not quite two years old and he was coming over to swipe my granddaughter's cookie that she was getting ready to take a bite of and so... <laughs> And then my daughter put underneath it a little caption and said, hey, that's not your cookie. But, yeah, um, where that came from is like, yeah. But, yeah. Um, And that fingered came about because you said identified. And what I was thinking when that fell out was you had pointed someone out. You had indicated that. Yeah, yeah. I I knew that. But but when fingered fell out of my mouth, I I could, (laughs) even though the camera's not on, I could see you dying laughing. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. You get me every once in a while. You. And I just, yeah, well, you know, for the longest time, it was like dentified. What the hell is dentified? (laughs) Well, you know what I find strange? What's that? I don't, I've never heard about any woman ever complaining about Obama grabbing him by the pussy. That's because he didn't do it to women. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, yeah. I guess, well, I that guess brings, I that, brings that whole I fingered thing into a whole new shitty perspective. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> Uh, what a way to end the show. Hey, you started it. <laughs> I'd like to thank all the people out there in the RLM for coming by and saying hi. Yeah. 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 Moose came in late, but she showed up. Because uh, their show's on in the, my early morning, and man, are you kidding me? Ugh. I like yeah. to sleep. Yeah. yeah. But, it, but then it puts their show later in the week when I want to. Sit down and get a giggle. There you go. There you go. The freakers ball. Well, one time it was balls to the wall. Yeah. Well, it's been yeah. that several times, but yeah, because Moosey has a life. Moosey goes to concerts and stuff. Yeah. yeah, but we did a tribute that that week, and we did balls to the floor the very next day in his honor oh. of doing balls to the wall. Yeah, <laughs> I went back and listened to it just today. <laughs> balls to the I went, floor. Oh, Oh, Lord. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yep. 
<laughs> this show's been a lot of fun over the time we've done it. Yeah. And and I I can't help it. I think I'm funny. <laughs> Not all the time. But, you know, when I'm funny. <laughs> Well, it's there's good. lots of times when I just laugh because it's, oh, my God, did I really say that? Yes, I did. Yeah. Out loud. <laughs> Out, on camera with, with an audience. Yeah. <laughs> now there's all kinds of people out there that are traumatized for life. Sorry. Well, it's a very select few, but uh, we seem to get repeat customers. Yes, at our we do. Vending, at our vending and supply store. <laughs> they, yeah, they come back. Yeah. And just like anything else, it's it's not uh, there's no no way to know how many people are going to do it a, on any particular day. That's true. And for it's 1995 great. and Monopoly money, you too can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we could go all Jewy Junis. <laughs> hey, you want to get into some debt, little girl? No. <laughs> I got. I just got overruled by my wife. There you go. There you go. Oh well, they ever fell. <laughs> That'll teach you. See? Well, hey, it's not like I was gonna contract. I just brought it up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. She knows. Ah, <laughs> uh, this this being free stuff is too good. Because well. The reality of it is one yeah. thing, but the way it feels is a whole other thing. Oh, there you go. It looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, but what the fuck is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a goose. No. And, and you did, just did got you it like for Christmas. Little, did you like the thing with the the duck on or the goose on the outside said, use the other door, this duck will attack you. <laughs> <laughs> or this goose will attack you, whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah, well, oh, Lord. I, I get entertained by the smallest of things, especially at the end of the show. Anyway, yeah. hey, thanks, and... everybody, for playing along with us this week. Yo. 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 Er. Ho. Yeah, y'all been listening to The Dork Table here on RealLibertyMedia.com, channel three. And we will be on later. Uh, Grimmy, I don't know. Are you putting us on BitChute? I know we're on Spreaker, and we will be on YouTube later. Go on over. Check it out. Hit the subscribe wow. button. I keep hearing all these videos say, hit the subscribe button. And uh, oh. I don't, I don't want to hit it. I have a touch screen on my computer. If I hit it, it might make my computer do weird things. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in any case, uh, be sure to check back. God knows yeah. what all's going on this weekend. But I do know Grim <laughs> is doing the blues tomorrow at noon yeah. Eastern time. And there will be a rousing yeah. game. Uh, trivia. trivia going on and I will probably be crocheting and watching and, and every once in a while putting in an obscure answer that just happens to be right because